Jeremy on March 3rd, 2015 by a very well-known dating app, Tinder. <laughs> Lucy's tagline was, likes people, loves potatoes. <laughs> Jeremy's was so long, he's lucky Lucy took the time to read it and even swipe right. <laughs> Jezza and Lucy are pretty much everyone's favourite couple, as evidenced by this many people in Bacchus Marsh in winter. people and love potatoes where do you stand on mr potato head <laughs> opening question ever <laughs> existential crisis how about I would not stand on Mr. Potato Head I would eat him instead <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, family, friends and loved ones and welcome to Lucy and Jeremy's wedding at the glorious Camp Sunnystones. So Lucy and Jeremy, today is all about celebrating the love they share with their 3,000 odd nearest and dearest. <laughs> <laughs> They're so thrilled to have you all here to acknowledge this special occasion in their lives and they are of course also thinking about the loved ones no longer with us who would have loved to be here today with a smile on their face and a drink in their hand. Today, instead of having me rabbit on about marriage, we're going to hear about Lucy and Jeremy's relationship from those that know them best. Well, I never would have thought that Jeremy could meet someone who makes him as happy as I do. <laughs> and I never thought he could make someone as happy as he makes me. And I think that is still correct to this day, but Lucy comes very, very close. As best friends, Lucy and I are fiercely protective of one another. So naturally, I had to thoroughly interrogate Jeremy the first time I met him. Jeremy kindly tolerated my interrogation with good humour and passed with flying colours, obviously. So I was extremely happy when four years later, he asked for advice based on someone theoretically proposing to my best friend. Jeremy, I know you understand what you're getting yourself into here, but we should double check the fine print before you sign on the double blind. Do you promise to kindly split the last Tim Tam and give Lucy the bigger piece? I do. <laughs> when Jezza tells me something funny, Lucy says, he does so with a genuine chuckle. When he tells me a story about how caring Lucy is, he does so with an element of disbelief. And I think that's because he's a commercial lawyer and he has no soul. <laughs> Being referred to as a strong woman is hardly uncommon. But let me tell you that Lucy comes from feisty, stubborn and strong-willed ladies on both sides of our DNA. Today we celebrate the beginning of a new chapter with our two families coming together. Peter and John, you have bonded over science facts, irrigation and water trends. <laughs> Renette and Sue, you have bonded over literally any other topic. <laughs> Aside from our mother, who is one of the most charming and yet terrifying women I have ever met, both of our grandmothers were intelligent, passionate and forthright people. They would have loved to see Lucy up here today. Lucy, do you promise to act entertained when Jeremy performs his movie quotes? Even when you've heard them a million times and know them off by heart? I do. <laughs> our dad's mum, Betty, refused to have the word obey in her own marriage vows. However, it is the words written by our Nan Margaret that really resonate with who you are promising to cherish for the rest of your life. I'm lazy. I hate getting up in the morning and I'm a bit touchy too and rather need to be cuddled a bit. I hate ironing, mending 
I never mend socks. And I'm not much chop at cooking either. I've got a quick temper sometimes, and other times I smolder and be a martyr. I love music, books, the theatre, dancing, eating, smoking and drinking. I swear like blue blazers, and I hate having my bottom pinched or slapped. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm damn near perfect. <laughs> Luce, I honestly knew the first time I met you that we'd be here today. When Beth grilled me a few months into our relationship and asked me for the top three things I liked most about you, the only trouble I had was narrowing it down to three. You are, without a doubt, the nicest person I've ever met. No offence to literally every person in this room. <laughs> you're smart, you're painfully good looking and you're the funniest person I know. With deep regret, I include myself in that. <laughs> Jeremy, we both know that my mind is an unsettled place. <laughs> every decision causes me pain and I overthink every thought until panic. And then there's you. Loving you is the most straightforward part of me. It brings, I'm only overwhelmed by my own incredible writing. <laughs> I first knew I liked you when I heard the way your friends talk about you. And I first knew I loved you when I saw the way you are with your family. Thank you for consoling me when the D's lose, which has occurred far more frequently than either of us would have liked. Thank you for your unwavering support and endless encouragement. But most of all, thank you for teaching me that I'm actually a cat person. <laughs> I promise to let you nap whenever you want. I promise not to be too negative. Provided it doesn't upset your sleep cycle. I promise to never pretend to know more about football than I actually do, and to accept the reality that although I come first, the Melbourne Football Club comes first. <laughs> I promise to continue making up brilliant songs that get stuck in your head all day. I promise to never use my advantage of being a far better liar than you are. <laughs> I promise to always provide support, back scratches and tuna, and make you feel as loved you We make an unbelievable team together and I'm genuinely excited to spend the rest of our lives growing old together. Let's face it, probably on the couch watching Netflix. <laughs> I'm incredibly proud to be able to call you my wife and we should probably delete Tinder now. <laughs> I'm proud to be your wife and I look forward to a lifetime of you being the last person I see at night making weird eye contact if we turn off the light. <laughs> I love you more than Neville Jetta loves taking a contested mark against a bigger opponent. <laughs> Always and forever. Lucy and Jeremy, you have declared before me and before all of your family and friends your intentions to live together in marriage from this day forward. You have symbolised it by joining hands, taking vows and exchanging rings. It is now my great pleasure to declare you husband and wife. Hey.